Hey folks, it's Max Alvey here again as part of the EVO seminar series. Today we're going to look into why do animals help each other? Is there an evolutionary explanation? Yes, there is a biological evolutionary explanation and it starts with the concept of Darwinian fitness. Darwinian fitness is the genetic contribution to one's gene pool and the effectiveness to continue to reproduce. Cooperative behavior found in animals can be broken down into two categories, direct fitness benefits and indirect fitness benefits. Direct fitness benefits are to the reproductivity of the individual cooperating. Indirect fitness benefits occur if both of those cooperating share the same genes. When an animal's cooperation with another animal comes at a significant cost to them, like one animal sharing precious food resources, it's called altruistic behavior, which can only be explained by indirect fitness benefits. For indirect fitness to work correctly, the animal must be able to distinguish whether they share the same genes with someone or not, which is called kin discrimination. Kin discrimination helps them decide whether they will actually benefit from their cooperation. Vampire bats. Vampire bats need to eat blood every day. If they don't eat for two days, they will die. So vampire bats will often donate blood to hungry bats when in need. It's true. Studies have found that in the closely tied communities of vampire bats, they will actually regurgitate a blood meal to a starving friend, showing a true form of cooperation and a strong contribution to the fitness of their genes. Thanks for joining me. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our EVO Seminar Series channel here. And if you want to see a live video presentation about animal cooperation by biologist and YouTuber Inez Dawson, click here.